Coach Witzer, I am honored to have you here. Yeah, RJ, good to be with you. Thank you, sir. I, I just wanted to get your thoughts about being able to watch your grandson, Jacob Switzer, play quarterback. How much fun has that been? Well, it has been. Uh, Jacob uh, now will be a senior. He uh, made the decision. His dad has moved to uh, Dallas, Texas, North Dallas, and his job took him there. And uh, so he is uh, living in the Frisco era, era, area, and uh, he will, my grandson will be attending uh, – Preston Wood um, Christian Academy. Yeah, it's a good school. It's a good academic school, and uh, and uh, obviously they have a good football program there. And uh, Jacob will be quarterback. He's been going to school down there for a semester. He'll be a senior this year. Uh, he's. Everybody asked me. I tweeted out. You know, I'm really proud of what he's accomplished. Uh, watched him uh, from the time he's obviously a young kid playing sports. Now he's developed into a man. He's. Uh, a good size man. He passes the eye test. Jacob, six two and a half, two hundred and two pounds. He vertical thirty four inches in the A and M camp, Texas A and M camp, and he ran a four five three uh, time for him there. And uh, so he passes the eye test. He passes all the physical tests. Now he's got to play on Friday night. If he plays on Friday night. He'll be a good prospect because he has everything else, all the talent to be a player. It's going to come down to how he performs. As a coach, that's how you have to look at it. You can look the part. You, you know, you, you play like Jane. You, you look like Tarzan, but you got to you got to perform on the field. If he does that, and I think he will, he will be a highly recruited quarterback. Coach, do you ever catch yourself going, "That's my grandson out there"? No, it's not like that. I got a kick out of Bob Stoops and I were the game last year at Moore High School, and uh, 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 this was Jake was a sophomore two years ago when the. Twins, the Soup Twins were playing receiver for Norman North, and they had a really good team then. They had a good coach, and and Jacob was a backup quarterback to uh, uh, a kid there, a good player, and uh, uh, he he was in the game. And Jacob threw a seventy yard touchdown pass, and they announced on the PA system says Switzer to Stoops for a seventy yard touchdown pass. Both Bob and I had a good big kick out of that. So that sounded pretty good. But it was a lot of fun, him watching his son, me there watching my grandson, and my grandson throw a touchdown pass to Isaac Stutz. Coach, you were uh, out at Baker's Pro Camps yesterday, and I got to tell right. you, the it was quite a picture to see you, he, and Billy Sims standing together. It looked like you're having fun. Were you having a good time? Well, yeah, we were. Billy came to town. Billy always passes it comes by to see me as all my players do and and Billy's here through more frequent because of his business uh, barbecue business and his headquarters are out of Tulsa so he's through here a lot and uh, and he had wanted to get over and have Baker sign something for him a Heisman ball so uh, I said that yeah I'm supposed to go over there too I'm to meet uh, some people and, and uh, so I went over with him before I went over there I put my Heisman uh, Billy Sims Heisman shirt on and, and Billy asked had his own. We we went over there and had some fun with Baker, and I asked Baker, uh, Lincoln and Bob, wear your T-shirt when you're in town. And I said, Billy makes me, so just expect them to do that in the future if you ask him. But anyway, it was a fun day, and they had a big crowd. Baker was, uh, you know, very receptive to us being there and made it a big deal. Coach, the last question I have for you before we let you go. Whose idea was it for Baker to hand the ball off to Billy and for you to block? <laughs> uh, I think it was Baker. He called me. He said, Let me call the play and use the backfield. I said, Well, I get to run with it. He said, No, you have to block. <laughs> so they pitched it to Billy Sims, uh, 1978 Heisman Trophy winner. First player picked in the draft, uh, and the quarterback, uh, Heisman Trophy winner, first player picked in the draft, turns and pitches it to Billy as I lead him, and we run a sweep downfield for a touchdown. Of course, there's no one trying to tackle you or one of us that are getting in our way. <laughs> But it was fun. A bunch of kids there were there. I, I don't know, several hundred. It was a big turnout. And it's a good day to have it, too. But you know what's the most interesting about thing about the camp? I got a kick out. I forgot girl athletes at that age are much more developed and more talented than guys because both girls won both sprints. They, they had division uh, sprints, and the girls won both division sprints. So I thought that was kind of neat. Coach Barry Swisher. Treasure, I, I am.
tremendously honored, and thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us, sir. I told you, you it would take two hours. Tell Patrick hello. I will, sir. Thank you so much. I don't think he meant me. <laughs> Coach Jones uh, comes on at 11, stays on till 2. We all enjoy Coach Jones up I got here. excited for a second. Well, you know, and I think he's the only person that could actually get away with calling Coach Jones Patrick. So the, let's 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 say say all of that. But hey, man, how about Coach Switzer coming out with the stories right away, man? Like I, I just I read I read the book. I've heard your stories. I know that there are folks that are listening that have heard all the stories that Coach Switzer tells. I asked him to just come and go, just gush a little bit about being a grandfather and being able to watch his grandson be actually a really talented quarterback. I mean, his huddle film shows a guy at Norman North who. Yeah, I mean, you can stand to get better throwing the ball down the field, but he's really good in reading zone read. He's really good at running option. He's, he has control in that mesh point. He can actually get out and beat you, and I think him dropping that four five three laser at the Texas A&M camp is going to help his – well, it's going to help him tremendously in recruiting. I, I just – I got to believe it. But, again, uh, I asked Coach to do this uh, just to uh, – I told him that he'd be doing me a kindness, and I knew that he was. And I thought it would be a really cool treat for all of us to hear Coach Switcher talk about yesterday being out of Baker's camp and how how a three-time national champ head coach and perhaps the most beloved college football personality in history ends up blocking for Billy Sims at Baker Mayfield, hands the ball off. And when you know it, Coach Switcher comes through. Like, I, I got goosebumps over here. Like Patrick, what, what did you think, man? Great stuff. You know, he, he's easy to talk to. That that's why he was such a great recruiter. Is he's he's easy to talk to. He can relate to people, um, and and it, it's an easygoing conversation. Uh, that was what was cool. You know, it's what's cool about Coach Switzer is every time you talk to him, uh, it it feels like it's a cool conversation you're just having with him. And again, the best story of all time is, you know, he 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 looks in 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 the the garbage to see what kind of beer uh, beer cans are in there, and then. When he goes and, and, and talks to the family, the dad asks if he liked the beer, and I, I whatever the lay only if it's this brand, that's all I drink. No, I mean, and that's I mean that's part of recruiting, right? Like that's part of it. But also, the thing that seems to be, and this I hear this from everybody, Coach Switzer's the same person with everyone he meets, and his this authenticity, as we talked about earlier in the show, comes through, and we crave that today. We crave people just being true with us not trying to get a rise out of us, not trying to just troll us for whatever reason. And that, that's never been Coach Wilson. I think that is why. It's not just that he was successful as a head coach, but he's been successful at the NFL level, won a Super Bowl. And we all want to hear what he has to say anytime he wants to tell us anything. Like, I could hear Coach Switzer read me the phone book, and I'd be having a good time about it. 